Hello students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, this here is the chapter 5 summary practice test. In this uh, summary test there's, there's only six questions so hopefully I will do three in one video and three in another video and be done with it. Um, and a, an interesting thing happened. Um, I had a, an email from a student who was in a previous edition of the textbook and uh, want to know if there was any online help or whatever have you for, you know, uh, she was taking math applications. And um, it occurred to me that I tell students to, you know, stop and pause and rewind if you don't understand the concepts um, and watch it again, watch it a couple times. And if you uh, still have any questions, feel free to contact an instructor either by telephone or email. Um, but then it also occurred to me, because she was using a, a previous edition of the textbook, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the chapters aren't necessarily always the same from one edition to another, although the vast majority are the same, um, and homework problems are going to be different. Um, so I present these videos in theory, and then I also present uh, the working out of the assigned homework problems. And let's say you are in a previous edition or even in the, the, the current edition. Um, you know, I do type out the question. And before I get into the question, it might benefit you to, to even if you're in the previous edition and you don't have these exact same questions, you know, to, to look at the question and then pause the video and try to work it out yourself instead of just watching all the way through and seeing how I'm doing it. Because this way, if you work it out yourself and then watch how I do it, and see if you arrive at the same answer, um, then you'd, you'd probably get a little bit more benefit out of it. So that was just the thought that popped into my head. And with that, let's move on to the uh, first test question. Okay, uh, let me get my ink pen, my pen here. Okay, it says, Delta reduced, reduced means minus, its round trip ticket price from Portland to Boston by 140 so from Portland and it's reducing to Boston by $140 okay the sale price was 40190 okay so if it's reducing um, by $140 and the sale price was 40190 what was the original price well, if the sale price ended up being 40190, and remember we're going from Portland to Boston, and that would be the sale price. Um, the way we think about this is, well, we're going to set Portland at P, right? going to make set that as the variable P and for Boston um, that means it would be you know P minus 140 which would give us the price of 40190 so since we're looking um, since we know that this is the relationship for Boston uh, this here is our equation that we're going to work from and then all we need to do is just solve for p again move the 140 over to the other side of the equal sign we change the signs so p is equal to 40190 plus 140 so that means p would equal to uh, let's see here 54190 and that makes sense because think about it if portland is the full price right and then we're subtracting 140 that means the answer that we get has to be greater than the 40190 okay so that was relatively easy move on to the next one All right david roll i don't know why i wrote a three is an employee of Google. He bought one seventh. He budgets one seventh of his salary for closing, for clothing. If David's total clothing for the year is twelve thousand, 
what is his yearly salary. So if one seventh of his salary right, um, is used for clothing and that amount is 12,000, that's our equation, right? One seventh of, the, of his salary and the final amount is for total clothing is 12,000. So to solve for this, we are dividing over here, okay? I mean, we have, you know, even though it's one seventh times um, our salary, one seventh is a division. So what we do in order to get rid of the fraction, we multiply both sides by seven, okay? What you do on the left is what you do on the right. Of course, the sevens cancel out, so we're left with their salary is equal to uh, 12,000 times 7, or 12 times 7 is 84, $84,000. Okay. Number three, a local Best Buy sells eight times as many iPods as Sears. So the difference between their sales is 490 iPods. How many iPods did each sell? So if the difference is 490, okay, and we know that um, Best Buy sells eight times Sears, well, since the relationship here is, we know that Best Buy is based upon how many they sell at Sears. So we set Sears to, I don't know, let's call it uh, P for iPods, right? Um, so that means if we're going to set uh, Sears as the unknown amount as a, a variable P, well, we just plug that into what Best Buy is. So that's 8 times P or 8P, okay? Um, and since we're talking about the difference between their sales, okay, that's a minus, Okay, a minus. So if Best Buy is 8P, and we subtract what Sears is. No, I mean that makes sense. Eight times, um, eight times P is greater than P, right? One P. So 8P for uh, Best Buy subtracting Sears, that would end up equaling the 490 uh, sales for iPods. Now all we need to do is just the math. You know, 8P minus 1P is 7P. Is equal to 490 and then divide by both divide by 490 divide both sides by 7 so P ends up being um, 70 iPads okay that means Sears sells 70 iPads and for Best Buy it's eight times the P which is 70 which ends up being 560 and in order to um, make sure that our P is correct as our check, we plug the values, we can plug the values back in, okay? Um, and we get 8 times 70 minus 70 is equal to 490, all right? So 8 times 70 is 560 minus 70 is equal to 490. And so 490 is equal to 490 okay all right let's do one more here working at staples jill reese and abby lee sold okay so we have jill reese oops jill reese and as a plus abby lee sold a total of 1200 calculators Jill sold five times as many calculators as Abby. So that's the relationship. Jill sells five times Abby. Since Jill is based upon Abby, we set Abby as the variable, I don't know, C for calculators. Okay. And then that means Jill would be five times, since we're placing the C for Abby, would be five times C or five C. Right? Now we were back here and remember it's Jill, um, Jill plus Abby is equal to 1200 calculators. 
and we're asking how many did each sell. So we just replace the variables for what Jill and Abby sold. So if, if Jill is 5C and Abby is C and they both sell 1,200, all we need to do, that's our equation right there, and all we need to do is the math. 5C plus 1C is 6C is equal to 1,200. And to isolate the variable, we divide both sides by 6. And that gives us C is equal to 200. Now, um, you know, we can, uh, so that's 200 for Abby. Okay. And for Jill, that's 5 times, we replace the C with the 200. And that equals uh, 1,000 for Jill. Okay, so Abby sells 200, Jill sells 1,000. All right, that's it for this video, and I'll finish off the last two problems in the next video.